find guitar. This channel is dedicated to finding guitars. I've been a woodworker for 50 years. I've sanded. I've finished. I've worked with a lot of wood. I love playing guitar, looking at guitars. 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 This week's feature is VGA from France. All right, VGA from France. Yeah, I did some checking on the internet once again. Get on YouTube. You can look them up and see all kinds of stuff. So, uh, they're a premier guitar. A lot of uh, hype is put around them, saying that they're like the, um, you know, one of the top shredder guitars. One of the, if you're a professional guitar player, this is a guitar you really need to have. Well, from what I've seen out on the market, you don't see a lot of these out. There are a few premier players that that use these use this brand of guitar. But uh, it's definitely not dominated in the market. So let's look at them and see what they have to offer anyway. Okay, so let's look at the pictures. See what they got here. Alright, so this is the back of the neck. It's kind of hard to tell. I would say that looks like a maple to me. Okay. Alright. Look at the fretboard. Okay. Nice looking. Not exactly sure what the hardware is. I can't quite make it out what it is. It doesn't look gold, but it's definitely doesn't look chrome either. Let's take a look at the back of the guitar. Alright. Yeah, once again, the neck does kind of look like it's possibly some type of figuring maple there. Uh, I can't really tell what that is, whether that's mahogany or not, I don't know for sure. Okay. Alright, let's see what the description has to say for itself. Okay, it says it's an alder body. Okay. Purple fade. Alright. It's got 11. 0.81 radius, whatever that means. 22 medium jumbo frets. Built for speed. Alright. It's got uh, two amber hand wound humbuckers. Once again, check them out on uh, YouTube and find out some more information. It looks like this one's out of England. Not too bad of a price for a premier guitar, supposedly. It doesn't say what the hardware is, but that doesn't look like chrome to me. It almost looks like a nickel. But uh, it doesn't say in the description. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go with a double neck. You don't see a whole lot of them. A Ron Thrall. Actually, uh, his name is nickname is Bubblefoot, and he's played here in the town that I'm in right now. A couple of times and uh, I saw him out on the sidewalk just below my apartment building and I was gonna say hello but he was had other people around him and I didn't want to bum rush him and uh, try to you know dominate the conversation or get an autograph or anything but I said hello to him a couple times and just walked right on by okay well He's known for playing a, a fretless neck, so I assume that's what it looks like here, is a fretless neck right there. So uh, that's not an easy thing to play, you know, because uh, you got to know where your hands are, and, and or fingers, I should say, and if you don't get them in the proper locations on the neck, it's not going to sound right. So it takes some technique and uh, some finesse be able to play a fretless instrument. I'm sure anybody that played violin or does play violin would know. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Let's check out the pictures. Okay. All 
right? For some reason, there we go. All right, so there's kind of a wild looking thing. I don't know. I would assume that's wood made out of wood. We'll find out later, hopefully, in the description what it actually is made of. Let's just do this. Okay. It says new. It almost looks kind of like a little distressing here and there. Some of this hardware doesn't doesn't look new to me, unless that's just the glare of the picture, which is possible. There's the fretless neck. Kind of a wild looking thing. And he did play that here. He played in the band uh, right downtown. And uh, I stood there and watched him, and uh, he had this thing on quite a few songs. Maybe not this particular guitar, but one that is has a fretless neck on it, just like this. All right. Let's see if we can find out some more information. Yep, right here it says, they said double foot. It's bubble foot is his nickname. And he is a phenomenal guitar player. If you really want to hear somebody that can play all kinds of different styles and sounds, he is excellent guitar player. All right, so it doesn't really give a whole lot of information about it. Okay. Oh, the model is double foot. Okay. I guess that kind of goes along with bubble foot. And they want 7000 for it and 600 for shipping, but this is coming out of Indonesia, so. Okay, let's see what else All they right. have. Here's a vintage offering from the somebody, 1984. I don't know what this means. I assume that means it's one of the first ones made or something like that, 001. Okay, let's see what they got here. All right, I can't quite make out what the wood is for sure. All right, let's see the back side. All right, looks like it's a neck through. Looks like it's possibly he's got some maple in it, and I'm not exactly sure what the brown color was. It almost looks like a black limba, but it's kind of hard to tell in pictures sometimes exactly what things are yeah the back of the headstock okay shot of the front more of the bridge and the pickups there's some pickups all right, so let's see if we can get some more information here. All right. All right, that doesn't give me a whole lot of information. The neck is, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, but it's walnut, maple, walnut. Okay, not a whole lot. Active guitar, two batteries, nine volts. Okay. It says it can play jazz, blues, and rock. All right. It does say something about looking for. Oh, okay. They're looking to swap or trade for a guitar, or what it looks like. All right. It's a hefty price. I have no idea what the value of these guitars are, especially an vintage one like this. I have no idea if this guitar is worth it or not, but uh, if somebody believes it's worth it, way to go. But just like anything that you sell, it's only worth what you get paid for it. So I've sold a vintage guitar before, it's on the channel, and uh, I got a decent price for it, and uh, like I said, it's only worth what you can get paid for it. So if somebody believes it's worth 
fifty thousand, you only get ten. It's only worth ten. Good luck. Okay, we can recognize what body style this is more or less. Uh, it says the classic rock. Okay, and it's B stock, so that means there's something wrong with it somewhere. There's a blemish or something isn't quite right that they can't, they don't feel like they should be able to sell for full price. I've bought some B stock guitars before, and some companies, there isn't a whole lot wrong with them. You really look, have to look hard to try and find uh, the blemishes or defects in it, and... Uh, being a professional wood finisher, I sometimes have a hard time figuring out what they actually are talking about. So sometimes this is a good deal. You get a good guitar for a lot less money. Okay, let's look at the pictures and see what they have to offer. Maybe they'll give us some insight. Oh, there's a dent. But I doubt that's what B stock is, but it's possible. It says used, so... All right. Okay, there we go. Now this is part of, they don't actually use the term string tree, but uh, that's basically what it is. Let's go back to this side right here. There is, they actually use a ball end from a string. And uh, it goes through. I assume they use a string and it hooks onto these two things and the idea behind that is is that string tree can move flexes up and down slightly so it has supposedly less friction when the string slides back and forth and the reason why they put string trees in is to give it more tension here because sometimes the strings will pop out because there's not no or little angle on the the head itself so they uh, use this to put some tension on the strings so they don't pop out of the nut also these have a feature in it where there's some type of product in here it's kind of uh, I don't know how to really describe it it kind of looks like a uh, velcro in there I don't think it's velcro but it kind of looks like velcro and what that is for is to help dampen the string in this area so you don't get a resonance frequency coming out when you're playing. Some styles of music, you'll hear that through the amplifier where the strings are kind of ringing in here. And it's popular for people nowadays to use some type of dampener across here or on the frets. I do sometimes, especially when I'm playing with higher gain and playing a legato style of playing where you don't want the strings to constantly ring all the time so some type of string dampener is used I guess that's what this is right here okay so let's see what else we get here fretboard that's looking like rosewood to me back of the neck okay that looks like maple now from what I found out this is carbon fiber that runs down. I don't know if all the necks have it, but some of them do. And they do not put a truss rod in their necks. They believe, trust in, I guess, that this carbon fiber strip running in here is going to keep the neck at the optimal uh, relief, they call it, or sometimes you have just a little bit of a dip in this area depending on where it's at and the guitar and the scale and everything where there's just a little bit of a dip in the neck to keep the strings from hitting the frets I like a nice straight neck and I don't have a whole lot of problems I've got some with 20 inch radius and I have no problems with the bends or any of that where the strings are and I like my action really low as low as I can get it to the frets so each to their own okay so they're saying bolt-on 10% carbon 90% wood 
Uh, maple natural dried for three years the wood it's a d-shaped I really don't like d-shaped necks I really don't I like more of a C more of elliptical neck okay rosewood on the fretboard 11.81 for radius all right 22 frets with a zero fret Oh, I forgot to point that out too when we were looking at the nut area here. They've got a zero fret, like a headless guitar. Right there is a fret that the uh, string sits on. It helps keep the, uh, so when you have super low uh, action on your guitar, it helps hold it up slightly so the nut isn't doing all the work. And uh, some people prefer that because you get a better uh, sounding intonation and uh, at your first fret rather than have the nut there. I don't know. I have headless guitars with the zero fret in it. And I have ones that have head on it. And uh, I don't know. I don't notice a difference. And also right in here, you can't really see it with this picture. Each one of these pieces on the zero fret is individual pieces that can be popped out if they wear down and you can replace it supposedly so is that a good option I don't know I've never played one but that's their idea of uh, making a better guitar and way to go if it works alright so now we'll get down to the pickups these are amber pickups once again. Check them out on the web, find out more information. Okay, really not much anything except for B stock, so excellent. VGA, yeah! Guitars from France, yes. I hope I get a chance to play one someday, maybe more than one. All right, as you can see, I'm trying out a different format. I'm working with the software and some different mics, just ones that I have. I'm thinking about upgrading. If you have a comment, do you like this format? Don't like it? Leave a comment. All right. You have a good week. Peace.